Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. How are you doing? I haven't been here for a while. Uh, I've been busy. And one of the things I've been doing is I've been making this book, How to Draw Halloween Stuff Real Easy. It is packed with over 160 creepy, scary, ghostly, hairy, frightful, weird, mysterious, hair-raising, spine-tingling things to draw for Halloween. <laughs> so, so what are you waiting for? You can get it now on Amazon. Uh, you'll find all the links down below. And also just below this video, you'll find my merch shelf, my merchandise shelf. And you'll see you can download it immediately as an ebook from there. Uh, and uh, you'll find uh, my other books on there as well. What have we got? So we've got Everyone Can Draw, uh, which is uh, really uh, good if you're just starting out and you kind of can't quite get your head around some stuff. It's a, a really good sort of right from the start beginning how to draw book. And how about how to draw ancient Greek stuff? <laughs> Real easy too. <laughs> if you want to draw a load of ancient Greek stuff, you just never know. While I haven't been posting here on the Shoe Run and Drawing channel, I have been posting on the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. So click up here if you're not subscribed and uh, go over there, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell, you get notifications because I'm doing about two videos a week on there. And uh, and if you really want to, you can support me on Patreon and help me keep me going with that. And my plan on Draw Stuff Real Easy is to uh, just keep making lots and lots of how to draw videos. There's kind of drawing stuff basically. And, uh, and making books. Um, so over the next few years, I have a 10 year plan <laughs> with all the books I want to make on the Draw Stuff Real Easy channel. I also have my Shoe Rainer Story channel because you may or may not know that my alter ego, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a children's author and illustrator. And so on that channel, I'm kind of, uh, well, I have been uh, recording and uh, telling stories on there, but again, I haven't been doing that for a while, but I've just got two new ones ready to go and record and I've set up a little studio in my son's old bedroom and um, so I can sort of sit down there with a green screen behind me and kind of tell these stories so that will be starting up very soon and then that leaves the shoe renner drawing channel which I have kind of neglected of late and if you look back over previous videos you'll see I had a bit of a tumble earlier this year which kind of um, sort of brought me up short and has made me kind of reassess reevaluate quite a lot in my life uh, over the summer and um, and I've been up to Scotland uh, in the last month or so as well I've been to the Wigtown Book Festival and had a great time there it was really good to go and meet up with lots of old friends um, who I know at the festival and uh, I did quite a bit of sketching I also went to visit a couple of schools hi there Penningham and Fort, uh, Port William not Fort William <laughs> Port William's right out there on the uh, west coast of Dumfries and Galloway, looking out across the Five Kingdoms. So uh, so I'm left with the Shoe Renner drawing channel, which I haven't really done much on at all recently. Oh, the dragonfly just flew past. And, and I am thinking more and more that uh, I'm kind of not inspired to keep doing what I've done before because I feel I've kind of done it. I've done what I set out to do with it. And, and in a way, um, Draw Stuff Real Easy has taken over from the original thing that I wanted to do. So what do I do with the Shoe Renner Drawing Channel? I, I'm going to sort of turn it more into a thing about illustration. And it's, <sighs> I've got it in my mind, it's not so much how to draw a such and such, it's how I would draw a such and such. So <laughs> it's become much more personal um, and and I know, uh, I remember when my son was very young and he, oh, yeah, it's a gigantic dragonfly. When my son was young uh, and he, he, he wouldn't come and say, I want to know how to draw a cowboy dad. He'd come up and slope up and say, I, you know, I'm having difficulty drawing cowboys. And um, so, and I knew that if I said, right, son, this is how you do it, that he would kind of rebel and sort of run away and wouldn't want to do it. So I discovered that the thing to do was just to get a piece of paper and very quietly say, well, if I was drawing a cowboy, this is how I would draw it. And he would kind of look sideways and, hmm, and he'd pick up some tips and things and I would maybe talk about it and say, you know, cowboys have hats like this because and they have guns like this because and they have spurs because and the cowboy boots and you know all explaining why cowboys sort of uh, you know have all the stuff that cowboys have 
and um, and he would kind of go, hmm, and he'd disappear off. And a couple of days later, he'd come back with something which was totally unique to him. But at the same time, I could see all the influence that uh, he'd drawn on. That I, not that I had <laughs> imposed on him the influence that he had drawn on from what I had done. So I think that's kind of what I would like to do with this channel is just to just to be myself and sort of illustrate stuff. And it'd be quite good to have sort of ideas and uh, comments and stuff like that from you just to kind of urge it on and make it a little bit more kind of vloggy rather than just, you know, how to draw, how to draw, how to draw uh, and sort of make things flow a bit more. Um, and there's there's uh, and I think maybe actually even sort of follow along sort of creations of picture books. So, so there's a book I did a little while back, uh, a couple of years ago, something like that, called Special Delivery. And um, and I did that all by myself. And, and it's, you know, it's just not been marketed and it just sits there. And I know when I did it, I had this sort of great plans for a whole series from the, this book. So I think it would be quite interesting to actually continue that series and sort of write write the stories that I wanted to do um, but to kind of illustrate them with you and explain what I'm doing and 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 in that way maybe sort of build up some interest uh, in, uh, in uh, as, as a kind of a marketing pre pre-sale marketing pre-publishing marketing kind of thing um, so and, and to kind of introduce you to the characters and you know you might even kind of in your chat influence me back and all that kind of stuff so that's what I'm thinking, and I should be coming back to this channel pretty regularly. <laughs> I will, I think, try to get started next week. It's getting started, that's the thing, is kind of finding a direction to get going with. Maybe you have an idea that you would like me to get started with, say, next Thursday. What am I going to do a video about? What would you really like me to do about how... I would draw something, not particularly how you want to know how to draw something, but how I would draw something. And um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe you get a shout out. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.